So welcome back to Try and Catch Coding tutorial part three, making a timer. So I'd say let's get right to it. So uh, last time we uh, basically made more or less the whole uh, GUI of the timer. So um, if I press here play uh, to run the project, we can see that we have a start button, we have a reset button, we can enter a date here, we can enter hours and minutes here, we can add them. So basically more or less all the functionality of the timer uh, is already uh, done. But I still would like to have a menu option up here where I can click on file and then basically have an option to uh, save a file and load a file. So that's the next thing we're going to implement. So let's start right away. Um, so to add a menu bar, we're going to go over here um, again to our um, area where we can um, add different buttons and whatnot. And under the swing menus, we want the menu bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drag and drop this in here. So already we can see here that it uh, has an option here, file and an option edit. And when we drag and drop this onto here, we will also see that under the jam frame, uh, we can see that the menu bar one uh, is, is, is added to um, the list of features that we have on this jam frame. So if I open this, we can already see here that we have Genu, uh, that we have JMenu one integrated. So that's uh, that's going to be here the file, and then we have here JMenu two, which is going to be edit. So we want to change these uh, names, these variable names, and we'll call this uh, one file because that's the file option up here, right? And then we're going to change this one to um, change variable name and we're going to call that edit and click OK so that's going to be the edit option here and when we now run this program so let's run it again see what happens so now we got these two options here file and edit and when I click on them uh, there's no options nothing really happens here and the reason for that is because we just added this menu bar and we added these two uh, options here. But what we need to um, add to it is to our uh, graphical user interface is a uh, menu item. So what I want to do here or what you want to do is here is drag this and put this right under uh, the file option right in here. Oh wait, it doesn't allow me to do that. Okay, so just drag and drop it into here. Uh, so what it's going to do now, if you drag and drop it onto your J frame or just into this field here, uh, you'll see the J menu uh, item option one here and it will show up at other components. Now from here on, I want to drag and drop this over to our J menu bar option, J menu bar one, and then I want to put it right into file. Okay, so this is how it should look. J menu bar one, and then we have under that file, and under that we have here now this J menu item one. And we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to add another J menu item. I'm just going to click it right here uh, into our um, program. It'll show up on other components drag and drop it down to the last one here. Okay, so now we already see we have two options here and these options are going to be the first one we're going to change the variable name. Uh, so we're going to call that the load option and this is going to be the, oh, I guess we're going to do it the other way around. 
So first we save, then reload. Yeah, that makes more sense. So we're going to change the variable name to save option. Again, you can use the name that suits you best. And here we're going to change this variable to load option. All right. And now this only changes, again, the variable name in the code itself. Uh, we want also the text here to be a different one. So we want the text to be called save and load. So let's do that. So we're going to click here on this save option uh, and then edit the text. And here I just want to call this save. That's the function that we're going to um, implement here. So press enter. And under the load option, I want to edit the text up here, and this is going to be load. And then we're just going to press enter. Perfect. Let's run this to see if it works well. Program is running. File. We have a save option and a load option. Perfect. Great. So this is all we need for the graphical user interface. So I would say let's start coding. All right, so um, the first thing what we can do, you obviously you, we can write code when we're here in this option here, design. This is where we design uh, our program. And if we go to source, we can see uh, the code, the Java code. And here we can see um, actually in here, this option right here where it says suppress warnings unchecked. If I open this option, it's all grayed out. Here you can see what uh, NetBeans actually did. So every time I add a button, I change the font size, um, I um, change a variable name. Um, in the background, NetBeans actually writes all this code. So all this code that we see here is basically our graphical user interface. So we could have done this manually by writing in all these lines of codes, but that's why we use NetBeans to make this process so much more simple. So now what we basically have to do in NetBeans is we have all these buttons added. So if I go here, um, Oh, yes, exactly. We still need to um, to change some variable names to make this program uh, nice and clean. So let's do that. So let's go back to design. And we're going to, um, so we already, nope. So this button here is called, in the moment, it's just called J button 1. So I want to here change the variable name to, and I'll call this, for my code, this is going to be the, um, I guess it's going to be the add button. So that's the add button. Uh, and then I, these, I don't like these J text field names too. So let's here. So this is going to be the text field where we enter the date. So let's change this variable name to I'm okay with text field, text field, so we can just leave that to text field, but I want to know what this text field does. So this is text field enter date, right? This is where we're going to enter our date. So that's what we're going to call this. And then this chat text field here, uh, we're going to change that variable name to, well, same thing. We're going to call it text field because that's what it is but we're going to call this hours or enter enter hour right enter hours and then change the next variable fields to again text field and then we want um, here we're going to enter minutes So these already make sense. Um, 
J label one, should we give that a different variable name? I don't think, yeah, well, why not? Uh, so we're gonna call this um, label, because it's a label, and we're gonna say label date. That's the label date. This is going to be label. I'm going to call it as it's named, enter time. And then here, change variable name to label, because it's a label. Hours. And change variable name to label. So this shouldn't make much more. We got the start button, we got we got all these. This all makes more sense. Yep, yep. I'm happy with this. Okay. So uh, we go back to the design and then just double click on these buttons. And what it does is it here it adds this code automatically where we can um, enter in what the button then does. So here is where we enter the code. And uh, I go back and double click on start. So we have the start button is added, the code here, and the reset button. So let's see, we have the start button, the add button, the reset button is added. Great. So that's all good. Uh, then we would like to also um, see that these text fields show up. So text field, yep, that's here. Um, double click on these so we have text field enter hours action performed yep that's all good we need this text field to to appear yeah for the time being that's great we can also just double click on these just to be sure that the save option shows up yeah let's do that and the load option so here we have the load option also great so what we basically need to do is for each button uh, and text field and, and options that we have here, we need to enter the code here so these buttons actually do something because for the time being they're just, uh, yeah, they don't do much. They don't do, do anything at all. Okay. Great. So with that, the uh, GUI should be more or less done uh, and uh, we'll continue next in the next tutorial with the code. Uh, so that's when we finally get to uh, write some code. You all have a great day and uh, see you in the next tutorial.